Hey y'all, it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video showing you how we make oat milk. But I also wanted to show you guys, we were lucky enough to get this company to send us a demasticating juicer or a cold juicer. And so when I started thinking of like what recipes I wanted to make to show you guys kind of how this machine works, I thought, well, everybody can do juicing. There's so many juicing machines and juicing videos. But um, what I like to use it for is actually to make oat milk and almond milk. We do use it for juicing as well. Um, we love pineapple juice. What we do when we do like juices is we'll juice our fruit like watermelon or pineapple or whatever. And then we, we mix it with club soda to make homemade sodas. But um, I wanted to show you guys something just a little bit different than juice. So this one actually, um, like I said, they sent it to me. And so... I thought I'd give it a whirl and show you guys kind of how it works. But it's really easy to put together. I'm saying that and I'm going to have issues, but it's super easy to put together. It has like um, augers and like little filters, but everything just pops really easily together. It's just like, oh, I put that on backwards. Like that. So this is our juicing machine. It has a little cup that sits back here and that's going to collect basically the crud after you're done juicing so in this case it's going to be our oats when we do almonds this catches all your little bits of almonds and if you dehydrate or dry out the almond pulp you can actually make your own almond flour so i love it because it saves money when you do that i was going to do almond um for you and you would do it the exact same way that i'm doing the oats today but i realized that i didn't have enough almonds to do the recipe on the spur. So I decided I was going to do oat milk, which I'm out of. So I need to make anyways. So to do oat milk, what I did is last night I put two cups of just old fashioned oats in six cups of water. And I stuck a plastic um, piece of plastic wrap over the top of this. And then I let that sit overnight. So this has been sitting not quite 24 hours because you know it says 24 hours, which means we're really just going to do it for less. But um, what I need to do now is take this over to the sink. I'm going to drain the water off. And then I'm going to add three cups of fresh water to it. So I'm going to run over to my sink and do that really quick. So um, I'm not going to bore you. Hold on. I'll be right back. And we're back. All I did, like I said, was drain off the liquid that I had on here. Like I said, you would do the same thing with almonds. But if you did almonds, you would do two cups of almonds. And then um, make sure they're totally covered. And then the same thing, you would drain it. Uh, what we're going to do now... Well, let me tell you a little bit about why. Okay, so we get approached, not daily, but pretty darn close to daily to show you guys products. Um, and a lot of them we say no to. 99.9% .9 of the time we say no to them. My favorite was um, sunglasses. They said, you guys are the perfect candidate because da, da 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 sunglasses. And I was like, bro, we are literally in our kitchen only. Like, why in the world? But anyways, what I love about this machine, and this is the reason that we said we would go ahead and... Um, do the video for them is if you guys look up masticating juicers, they can get really, really expensive or cold press juicers. What I like about this one is I believe it's $99 on Amazon, but there's always a coupon code and they come in a billion colors. I did not pick the rose red. I think this one's called rose red. It's like a hot pink. I didn't pick this one. This is the one they picked. They have a beautiful blue one. They have a gray. They have a really like minty vintage green color. They got all kinds of fun colors. But what I like best is that they have coupon codes almost all the time for $15 to $25 off. So you can essentially get this machine for like $75, which for a masticating juicer is really, really reasonable. What I think is great though, and the reason that, like I said, I would do it, um, for us, like I was saying, doing fruit juicing is awesome, but it can get really costly. And so I like this machine because they sell an attachment to do meat grinding and what was the other one? There's a different attach. There's a couple different attachments that they sell that you can use on the same base motor and um, still use with this machine. So those ones are, of course, like they come in packages and different stuff and you can check that out on Amazon. But for me, I thought we do a lot of oat milk in our house. That's what I use primarily for my teas. And um, it gets expensive. It's like six bucks a jug for some of the organic ones that we use. So instead, I'm using my um, bulk oats that we buy from Azure Standard. I'm mixing them with water, and I'm going to make my own oat milk. Um, if you want to do like an oat flour with the leftovers, you can do that too. So, you know, we like to do things frugal and multi-purpose. 
So what we're going to do is what, what you're trying to do here is we're going to turn it on. Go figure. Like I said, we put it together. It takes two seconds to put together and it's super duper easy to clean, which also was kind of important to me because things that are fibrous and get stuck in there can be stuck in there the life of the machine. This one doesn't do that. So I appreciated that. So it just turns on. It's super duper quiet. It has a little like plunger thing with oats. We don't need that. So I'm just going to do a quarter a cup at a time. And you want to try to get as much liquid and oats, like kind of a about the same amount in there. Okay, I put the containers in here backwards, I just realized. So this one is where the byproduct comes out, not that one. <laughs> I gave this thing a thorough cleaning beforehand, but hadn't actually used it yet. But our oat milk is going into our back container, and yeah, it's just pushing out the oats. It's kind of cool. They're super dry which means that all like the good stuff is going in there. But I'm just doing a fourth a cup at a time. When you're done with this, you can add a little bit of sugar or vanilla extract if you want. I use an unsweetened oat milk, so I'm not going to do that. But if you feel like you want to add a little salt or something to give it a little more oomph, you can totally do that. It's, it's one of those like up to you recipes, which I appreciate. So, if you buy this machine, it comes with a recipe book and it has all kinds of juice recipes in it. It's looking great. Um, it's got all kinds of juice recipes in it. Um, but like I said, I need things that are multi-purpose. If you're going to have a tool that's this big sitting in your kitchen, I like it to do other things than just one purpose. So for me, that was important and why, like I said, we, we would do a video for this company. So I'm going to have to dump this. Hold on. We're running out of space already, which is a good thing. Let me go ahead and just turn it off and I'll show you guys. We're not done yet, but let me show you guys what we've got. Okay. So this is the byproduct that has come out and it just shoots kind of it out. It's really dry. Like it feels like cooked oatmeal, to be honest with you. What I'm going to do is, and I've done this before, is put this on my dehydrator trays. You can actually pop it in your oven as well and dehydrate it. And we'll run it through the fruit processor and we'll make oat flour out of it. Same thing with almonds, you can do almond flour. And then let me just show you guys our almond milk that we now have. Let me rinse my hand off real quick. <clears throat> okay, so we had another juicer for actually for years and it was not the type that does, it's not a masticating juicer. Um, these ones work a little bit slower but you get more nutrients out of them because of the way that it processes, but um, I don't know if you can see our oat milk. It's oat milk, you guys. We made oat milk. Um, it's nice and thick. So I have made oat milk. A lot of people do it in the blender, and you put the oats with the water in the blender, and then you run it through, like, they call them nut bags. Um, it's, like, where it catches all the sediment, and it slowly drips through. You can do it through cheesecloth as well. What I like about this one is you don't have to do that because it doesn't have as much sediment because all of your sediment is now over here. This is nice and thick too, where when I made my own, it wasn't really creamy at all. So to me, I thought it's kind of important. You can feel the thickness in it. I'm gonna try it. It tastes like oat milk, but it's not um, sweet. It's not vanilla or anything like that yet. So there you go. That's it. Anyways, um, I'm going to bring you guys another video using the same machine just to show you it doing, um, I'm actually going to do watermelon in it and make a club soda drink, like a watermelon soda to show you guys. Cause I have, after we did our ginger ale recipe, a lot of you guys asked what other natural sodas we make at home. And so I'm also going to show you guys how we do that. Um, but right now I'm going to finish my oat milk and then, um, if you guys are interested too, I can show you the almond milk, but here's my rant for the day, you guys. My husband's standing here, so I'm not gonna cry, damn it. No, darn it. <laughs> um, I know we, we have been telling you guys for months that our oldest son is graduating from college and he's moving out after he graduates and blah, 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 and he has a job lined up and stuff. Well, in the midst of all that stuff happening with our oldest child, our middle one um, actually kind of, he kind of told us that he was going to be moving out, but we thought, okay, whatever. We didn't actually believe that it was going to happen because we've been focused on the older one moving out. Well, it turns out the middle one was pretty darn serious. And so 
over the last couple of weeks, we've been getting him packed and ready and he actually moved out of the country. So, um, this morning, my husband and I had to go drop him off at the airport and we've been, I don't think I've cried so much. I was telling my husband, I don't think I've cried so much in the last like week. And then this morning over like even people passing away in our lives. So it's, it, you know, they don't, they don't tell you how to process when your kids are going to leave you. And so it's been kind of a wild little ride, but, um, if you have any advice, the good thing is, and you guys know this, my husband and I are very, very close. We've, um, we do date nights all the time and we do kind of do pretty much everything together. So that's been a little bit easier for us, but still they don't tell you how to parent adult children that are going to leave you. Why you leave me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I promise I'm still here, but I'm my husband's sure. sitting I'm right here, but like it's been, I was telling him earlier, it's a good thing that women can wear makeup because we actually are going to a baseball game tonight. And it's, it's a good thing we wear makeup because we can cover up our, um, long days like today. But anyways, <laughs> I wanted to say a thank you to, I think it's AMZ chef, AMZ chef who sent this to us. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a couple videos for you guys using it because I want to show you that it has more purposes than just being a juicer. Um, but anyways, I want to say thank you to them for sending it to us. If you guys uh, click below, there's a link to the Amazon one. Like I said, use the coupon. If it's not on sale right now, wait, because they often do coupons up to $25 off. So you can get the whole machine for 70, 75 bucks. Then it's totally worth it. But I'm also going to show you um, the almond flour that we make for anybody who has like gluten sensitivities out of the almond pulp. And what else is going on in our lives? With our son's with one kid moving out and now the other one moving out, we're going to try to get as many videos out as we can. Um, but anybody who's been through this, it's kind of hard to come jump on camera first thing in the morning when you kind of don't feel like it. Um, when your life's a little upside down and things are a little out of control, all we can do is we get up in our morning and we read our Bible and we pray together and God helps us get through the day, but, um, we're gonna be okay. but it's tough. So that is all. Anyways, go check out the link below if you guys are interested in this juicer or if you have any words of advice for parents with broken hearts. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank and um, here, comes the clicker. here comes the clicker. But like I said, we'll have videos out as we can. If it's not three times a week, we're going to try to at least do one or two for the next few weeks. But we'll be back and strong in July. Thanks, guys. Yeah, every time you guys. Okay, bye.